Hey guys, Panzerfaust here. Uh, so, if you saw by the thumbnail, today we're going to be doing a showcase of one of my newest builds. So, if we go out here, today we're going to be doing a showcase of my E2C Hawkeye. So, let's do a quick tour of the aircraft. So, two turboprops. As you can see, we got the intake and the exhaust. Um, because of how I built it, there, I wasn't able to put any sort of custom landing gear, including in the nose, so I just settled for small landing gear. Um, I am heavily experimenting with, the, with my abilities with angle locking, as you can see. I am using trap doors for the wings, except uh, this middle area here, which is actual wing panels. And then I also angle lock the tail. So yeah. And then, because this is meant to be launched off of carriers, we have a somewhat functional um, carrier uh, tail hook here, which does go down when needed. And here we have the radar. Wasn't able to make it too round, sadly. And here's the cockpit. And if you look inside the nose here, it's actually a bunch of propellers that I motor locked in. So let's hop inside. So I made a slight interior. Especially over here, because this is an um, uh, AWACS aircraft, or at least airborne early warning. One of those two or both, I don't exactly remember. But yeah, um, I just looked up some images of the A of the E2C interior, and I just did a very rough sort of interior based off of that. And that's basically it. So. Let's go take, take off. Because of all the angle locking and such, um, this does tend to jitter whenever it's not anchored. But it does get more stable in the air. Alright, and taking off. So, um, I was actually able to find out through a friend that I'm able to toggle my um, motor twos, which helps a lot with um, uh, M2M sort of deals. And the pistons are glitched. Alright. So, yeah. I am now able to toggle my elevators on and off when needed, as they are controlled by my mouse. But I can still use WASD on the rest of the aircraft, including um, some slight um, pitch using the propellers in the nose. So yeah. Um, this is a, some, a surprisingly agile aircraft, in, especially in terms of like the roll. Even though it's um, it's just a turboprop um, aircraft, not even a fighter. And this can actually go around 1,000 uh, studs per second, as you can see. A little bit over. Um, and yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to pull off a landing with the glitch landing gear, but let's see how it goes. Let me lower the tail hook, as you can see. Alright. Oh, and we got blown up. Nice. And since we got blown up, I guess I'll show you guys the uh, smoke effects. So I can produce black smoke from my right engine, left engine, and the fuselage itself. So it's pretty similar to a lot of my other aircraft in terms of that. And also, just like my other aircraft, I can completely destroy this thing using explosives, as seen here. So 
So yeah, um, there is no actual armament on this thing, not even flares or fireworks for defensive measures, because, like I said, this thing isn't really a fighter or anything like that. So I decided to just keep it all in the visuals, if anything, and yeah. Also, um, another thing that I experimented with during the production of this was using um, tail lights. Well, not I mean not tail lights. Um, wing lights. So I'm finally adding some stuff so I can actually see at nighttime, or other aircraft can see me. At least how it would work in real life. And I am now placing um, lights. In certain places of the aircraft. So let me just switch it to nighttime and turn on the lights. As you can see, I now have uh, lights on the tail and also on the very edge of the wing. And another thing that I have added is whenever I put down my landing gear, I have a small light right underneath the front landing gear, or right in front of the front landing gear. So it'd supposedly be easier to see. And now after I added this sort of detail on this aircraft, I ended up doing it on a lot of my other ones. I'm currently um, redoing a lot of my fighters by adding the lights and also adding the toggleable uh, motor two mouse stuff. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And also, while it's nighttime, I'm going to be showing you the little interior lighting. As you can see, the little red, um, the green screens actually light up because those are like radar and all that. I haven't really double checked on what those screens actually are, but at least one of them is radar, if I remember right. Oh, and I'm about to get destroyed. Nice. Anyways, before uh, the aircraft gets completely destroyed, um, I guess I'll do my outro. And yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like and sub, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.